On the N500C, TrueSet provides precise in-cab downforce control, improving seed placement accuracy and varying field conditions. In this video, I will review the connections, display setup, and operation of TrueSet on 30 series and newer John Deere tractors with Power Beyond. Operating TrueSet on Power Beyond keeps the tractor hydraulic pump from going to high pressure standby. This lowers the power required for running the pump and reduces fuel use. Contact your local dealer to purchase a Power Beyond hydraulics kit for your tractor. On tractors with Power Beyond, the recommended SCV connections are case drain hose on case drain port. Do not connect case drain hose to a Power Beyond return port. Opener raise on SCV1 extend port. Opener lower on SCV1 retract port. Wing fold on SCV2 extend port wing unfold on SCV2 retract port, CCS blower pressure on SCV3 retract port, CCS blower return on SCV3 extend port, power beyond pressure hose on power beyond pressure port, power beyond return hose on power beyond return port, load sense line on load sense port. On the display, open the Seedstar app and press the information and settings icon on the top of the screen. Scroll down to downforce. Increment adjust is how much the downforce target will change when the plus or minus button is pushed on the run page. Downforce disabled warning delay is how long the display will wait to alert the operator between warnings. Failed to reach set point timeout is how long the display will wait to alert the operator that the target has not been reached after the openers are lowered. Each of these settings can be changed by pressing on the text box and entering a new value into the keyboard, then press save. Press the SCV settings icon. Choose the automated SCV control radio button in step one and press next. Put a check next to use power beyond in step two. Choose the timed radio button. The continuous button should only be used for diagnostics. Press the edit settings icon. Assign SCV1 to opener control. Press next and then save. With this configuration, the opener hoses on SCV1 must be connected so that pressure to the extend port raises the openers and pressure on the retract port lowers the openers. With the display configuration set, open the downforce tab on the run page. The pressure status and control is on the left. The operator can see the current target pressure here and on the gauge. Press on the plus or minus buttons to increase or decrease the target pressure by the increment adjust. Press on the text box to open a keypad, input a pressure, and save the new target. The system will then increase or decrease hydraulic pressure to the rock shaft cylinders to reach the new target. Use the on-off button to turn the system on and off. When making an end row turn, the operator will use SCV1 to raise and lower the openers. When the openers are lowered, the system will use the CAN bus message to detect the operation of SCV1. TrueSet will then switch from SCV1 pressure to power beyond pressure to apply downforce to the rock shaft cylinders. You must use the detent position on the SCV control for the system to work properly. While making end road turns, it is a good idea to open the downforce module by pressing on the tab at the top of the run page. The green indicator gives the operator assurance that downforce is being applied so the openers can penetrate to the proper depth. Operators like to put the openers in float when seating close to wet spots. In automatic mode, set SCV1 to float. You can see the applied downforce indicator goes to zero. To turn downforce back on, set the SCV lever to off and then to retract detent. The system will come back to the target within a few seconds. In this video, I reviewed the connections, display setup, and operation of TrueSet on 30 series and newer John Deere tractors with Power Beyond.